Hey guys, this is Callum from English Shooting and welcome back to the channel. This is actually one of, for me, the more funny comments that I seem to get or questions that I seem to get on the channel and that is, are binary triggers legal here within the UK? Now the reason I find it funny is because you must all know by now how restrictive things are in the UK and if there's anything that increases rates of fire or gives you more fun down the range, rest assured that it's most likely banned or prohibited. But I thought I would take the time and make this video to give a definitive answer on whether binary triggers can be owned. The answer might surprise you a little. So first of all, for those of you that don't know, what is a binary trigger? Well, usually for a semi-automatic, you pull the trigger and that will release the hammer, hits the firing pin, which then strikes the primer and then the round goes off and the bullet comes out. But what the binary mechanism then does is when you release the trigger, it will then cycle again. So you're effectively getting two rounds for every pull of the trigger, or it's one round for the pull and one round for the release. And as you can imagine, this is going to double the rate of fire. It means you're going to be sending a lot more lead down range than with a standard conventional, conventional semi-automatic trigger. Now, in the States, these may be uh, legal depending on which state you are in, but in the UK, yep, you got it, they are heavily restricted, but not banned. And that's due to the uh, the licensing systems, the certification systems that we have here. Nothing is really banned, it's just very heavily restricted. So we have three classes, main classes of licenses. You have section one, section two, and section five. Section five is pretty much identical to the class three license you have out in the US. It's pretty much for any other weapon, for handguns that were banned uh, after Dunblane, for semi-automatic full bore rifles banned under uh, after Hungerford, and for other weapons that don't come under a firearm certificate section one or a shotgun certificate section two. Now the reason a binary trigger isn't banned is because it would come under section 5 which means if you had the right permission the right authority to possess a firearm or that specific component you would be legally able to own it and shoot it here within the UK but for your average shooter for your average sport shooter or hunter under a section 1 FAC or a section 2 SGC you're just not going to get one it's not going to happen there's no reasonable justification for sport or hunting that you would want and unfortunately just because you want to have a lot of fun with something isn't going to convince your police force. So the reason in terms of the letter of the law that it wouldn't be section one is well first of you can only have semi-automatics in section one if they are 2-2 long rifle. Well that doesn't necessarily stop the use of a binary trigger but it's the classification of then what a semi-automatic rifle is and it is defined in law here as a firearm that will cycle from every pull of the trigger. Whilst the binary trigger is releasing the second shot on the release of the trigger and not the pull, with one pull of that trigger, you are getting effectively two rounds. Basically, between two pulls of the trigger, you would be getting two rounds, and that would class it as certainly not semi-auto, not fully auto, but it's going to end up putting it in section five. So no, binary triggers are not legal for your average day citizen here to own. They are section five and would only be able to be owned for very specific, maybe R&D, military, police uses uh, or requirements. So you're not going to be able to get one. And whilst some people may be tempted to try and order one in at, at the end of the day before they were specifically banned here in the UK after the offensive weapons bill, we could order bump fire stocks over from the US and they could come through the post. I think you'd have had, had to have been very brave to do that. But the binary triggers, again, you could potentially order one from over the States or bring one back with you. 
rest assured that if you are caught with it, you will be sa you will be facing a serious amount of jail time. It would classify that gun as Section 5, and if you don't have that authority to possess a Section 5 firearm, you could be looking at a minimum of five years in prison. It's not worth the risk, as fun as they may look, as enjoyable as people seem to say they are, it's really not worth messing about for a bit of fun down the range. Stick to the law. Personally, I think the binary triggers actually are bordering on dangerous because there are going to be some circumstances, especially within, say, an IPSC match, although a binary trigger would never be IPSC legal, that you might be transitioning. You might have taken, you know, your you shot at something or you know say a popper and you might be transitioning when you've released out of the trigger so for me it's a fun only thing or maybe even just military or police but personally just like the the mars action rifle you get confused now that was actually one round per two pulls of the trigger but you'd get confused you'd just sort of forget for a second where you were was well wait, wait a minute am i going to get around if i pull the trigger now or am i am i going to be releasing the bolt and with the binary trigger again i think there's just a, a much bigger risk of you firing off around somewhere you don't intend but that's just my personal opinion of it of course i'd absolutely love to try one we're going to be out in the states in october hopefully i can get my hands on one and give one a go but there we go hopefully that answers any questions you have in terms of binary triggers being legal here in the uk if there's any other questions you have put them down in the comment section below or either answer them directly or if they're uh, are a popular question i'll do a video on it if you have enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and please make sure you're subscribed for any future videos and as always guys i hope to see you soon